So thanks for the introduction. So I would like to uh, introduce my topic. Oh, I'm Taha Moriyama from the University of Electric Communication in Japan. I'm a second year for master course student. So I would like to introduce my topic. It's about development of a wearable haptic device that presents a haptic sensation corresponding to three fingers on the forearm. So as you can see in this figure, this is our device which we have made it. Um, it has three links on the wrist which can move left, right, up and down. And uh, this is going to deform the skin on the forearm which tries to reproduce the uh, haptic sensation of the fingertip to the forearm. Okay, so these days virtuality has become very popular which put the spotlights on uh, uh, haptic uh, presentation to reproduce rich experiments in VR. And the main targets of this haptic presentation uh, in VR are fingers because we manipulate objects with our fingers and uh, uh, they are embedded with many receptors that are sensitive to texture and shapes. So numerous studies have presented haptic information directly to the hands. In VR, there's glove type displays and fingertip displays. Uh, displays. But however, this type of displays, uh, their weight and size typically hinders the free movement of your hands especially when, cons when we consider a multi-finger scenario and uh, it may lead to physical, physical interference between the devices as well. So to tackle this issue, we propose a method of presenting the strength and direction of a force normal given to the fingertip by another part of the body and this time is to our wrist. And by presenting the information to other parts of the body without attaching the device on our fingertips, now, it, the fingers are free, uh, totally free to move. This is a common method used in the study of uh, tactile scenario prosthetic hands, and there have been many attempts to place vibrators on the shoulder or on the arm to present some haptic cues. But, however, the direction of the force was not presented at, well, at the most of the attempts, so therefore our aim is to present this uh, we present the haptic sensor of a fingertip, including the direction of the force to the forearm, on the forearm. So on our previous report, we found that the dorsal part of the wrist was an appropriate location corresponding to the index finger, and the forward side uh, part of the wrist was appropriate location for the thumb. Also, we conducted a primary user study in virtual reality, confirming that the, our device gives more natural sensation than vibrations. Okay. So in this paper, we present a follow-up study in which we extend the method of a three-finger scenario, three-finger case. It's a minimum, minimum of three fingers is needed to firmly grip or manipulate an object, and therefore it can be adopted in numerous situations, including like teleportations. So our device compress a base with a large area that is fixed to the arm with electric tape and a five bar linkage driven by two servo motors and an adhesive gel seal here that connects the skin to the middle point of the five bar link. And by controlling these two servo motors at the base, the five bar linkage mechanism can realize the presentation of two degrees of freedom of force, which one to the right and left and the, the one for up and down. So by driving the two motors to the same direction, we can produce this tangential force on our wrist and to the opposite direction, this pressure force. So the whole device is composed of two fiber linkage on the dorsal side of the forearm and th they are separated for 100 millimeters. This is representing the index and the middle fingers and one five bar linkage mechanism on the forward side of the forearm representing the thumb. Separation is well above the two point discrimination threshold of the skin as uh, the forearm scheme which is around 40 millimeters. So we have designed two experiments with the device that we have made. The experiment for the discrimination of the tactile information by the new device and the second one we investigate how does the realism or uh, how does the experience improve in virtual reality environment with these three finger devices? So as the new device has additional stimulation points than the previous report, 
uh, we confirmed that the haptic information presented by the device could be fully described. First, we examined the case when the force was presented to different location in the, uh, in, the ver in the vertical direction, simulating the sense of pressure. And second is examine the case with all tactile information, pressure and right-left transition force presented to two different positions on the forearm. We call it mixed condition. So in the pressure condition, all three places corresponding to the thumb and index, index and middle finger were used. And we tested whether each one of the stimulus from two pairs could be described. So using stimulus pairs A and B, the following procedure was used to examine the discrimination ability. So A was presented for one second followed by one second rest and B was presented and one for one second and then one second, two second rest and A or B was presented randomly and the participant will ask whether the last stimulus was A or B. And then the we put the correction rate. There are 30 trials conducted in this experiment randomly. And during the experiment, the device attached and the participant site was blocked using the eye mask and white noise was played through the headphones so to mask the noise of the micro servo motors. And this is the, uh, the number of course the correct response for the pressure condition is shown in this figure. And as you can see, um, the result indicate that the participant was able to identify whether the pressure sense was presented with a probability of 89% or more. So we can say that it's very high discrimination rate well obtained under any condition which is good. And for the next segment is about discrimination test of pressure and friction sensations. So we call it mixed condition. In this mixed condition, we limited the presentation to two locations on the dorsal side to shorten the experiment. So these two points corresponded to the index finger and middle finger. So for example, it was confirmed whether the pairs could be described. And the experimental procedure is same as the before. So A was presented and one second rest followed by one second rest. B was presented for one second and followed by two second rest. And a or B was presented randomly, and uh, person will ask whether the last miss was A or B. And then we put the correction rate. So uh, 150 trials were conducted in this experiment. And this table shows the correct response rate for the mixed pressure and tangential, tangential sensation conditions presented in different combinations. So. The stated area is that the condition of mixed finger, like index and middle finger, and the yellow one is the lowest correction rate we had. So we can say very high discrimination rate were obtained as well under both the pressure and the uh, friction, transition friction condition, which suggests the device can uh, independently present all type of, of the haptic sensation in this time. So the second experiment is to present the grasping force in a virtuality environment. So we considered the grasping and lifting an object as a task involving multiple <laughs> fingers and multiple direction of a force. So when we grasp an object, the object ex exerts vertical pressure on the fingers. And when lifting the grasped object, the force of gravity results the lateral skin deformation. So presenting this force information to the wrist, including the direction presented by the fingertip, may lead to more realistic experiment experience. So we examined whether the experience in this case was better than in the case with no haptics or with the vibration was the haptic cues given by the vibrators. So this, at this experiment, head mount display was used and leap motion was used for the finger, uh, finger tracking. And four conditions were presented, uh, prepared for the tactile presentation. So I will show you what condition are they. Later, the user are asked to grasp and lift the cup for five times under four different conditions, and they are asked to answer in seven level Likert scale. Seven is no strangeness, and one is feeling strange. So these are the four different stimulation conditions. First one is no haptics, and second one is the vibrators presented presented vibration to the fingers when the fingers were in contact only with the object. 
And the third one is pressure sensation was presented to the three location when the fingers grasp the object. And the pressure sensation was presented to the three location and the tonnage force was presented, oops, presented to the three location when lifting the object. So comparing the vibration and force conditions, the reality was greatly improved than when haptic sensation was presented by the device. Although the difference was not significant, but scores for the combined pressure and tangential friction force condition tended to be a little bit higher than the pressure only condition. So in our previous study using the two fingers, the pressure only condition scored higher than the combined pressure and transition force condition. But we believe that this difference was caused by increasing the number of fingers in this experiment and the sense of discomfort between pressure and transition friction force was reduced by uh, adjusting a little bit of timing and strength of presentation. Okay, so this is my end of my talking. Thank you for listening. Thank you. So we have some time for questions. Can you talk a little bit about the response time you used? Response time I used? Of the actuators? Oh, for the motors. Yeah, the motors. How quickly it's it's, uh, it's point 0.2 milliseconds. 0.2 point two milliseconds? Uh, no, 2 milliseconds. Uh, two mil, two hundred. Uh, point two <laughs> seconds. Yeah, two yeah, I think. Two hundred milliseconds. Yeah, two hundred okay. milliseconds. Okay. Do we have more questions? Did you control the magnitude in any sort of analog way? Right? No, actually, it's only one zero, so oh. it's like yeah, on off the six newton in pressure force. Okay, uh, just a, mm -hmm. a question about uh, you have uh, your scale where you shows how real does it feel with different kind of feedbacks. How uh, mm -hmm. how did you measure this? So what uh, was the, the feelings? How different? Uh, it's, nah, how realistic it felt? The realistic this field. Yes. You so what does it realistic in this case? Uh, in this case means well, I thought uh, I wanted to have some. I mean, to ask easy questions because they, I want to know how they feel actually, but I actually didn't know what will be the <laughs> probable way to ask uh, if you have any solution. Can you go a couple oh. of slides back? Okay. Uh, this one, feeling strange. Um, no, once again. Oh, once again? Well, actually, no, with I think. With the results, with uh, the different kinds of feedback. Ah. Yes, the results. This one? Yeah, this one. So, what is here more realistic less realistic so, and uh, and oh. how did you measure uh, realism oh so how we measure it it's okay it's uh, with this seven level liquid scale actually and i asked to them to the participants to think i mean to answer which with the, their mm -hmm. thinkings <laughs> i didn't try to talk about that more in the uh, experiment, so I just left them to decide what they think. So maybe okay. it differs with the participants. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Do we have uh, more questions? Okay, then uh, we can go to the next talk. Oh, let's <laughs> thank our speaker.